I get all of my grays, earth tones, even black, from a range of nothing but yellow, red, and blue. My, uh, my palette is the same painting palette that I've used since art school. It's essentially nothing but primary colors, just a warm and a cool version of every color. I think when you work with less, you find out how to do more. Invariably, I wind up mixing colors for the longest amount of time. I'm constantly mixing. Most of the time I spend standing is spent mixing colors. I'll stand and mix for hours. Sometimes my entire first day is nothing but mixing colors. I'll spend hours just mixing my whites. Every color is so crucial. I've been called a colorist. Not an impressionist, not a realist, but a colorist because of my obsession with color. I use color to describe atmosphere, depth. Every nuance and reflection is described through some subtle change in color. Shadows are not actually the lack of light. They're actually a color. The color is dictated by all the colors that might be reflecting in the shadow, colors around it, just even the color of the atmosphere, of the space in front of the uh, subject. Shadows are a very specific color. They're never just the lack of light. There's actually a color that's mixed to define the shadow. Uh, to me, that's a very important part of creating atmosphere and space and depth. Painting is not just something I do, it feels like it's woven into the fabric of what makes life important. I endlessly will scrape out and repaint an area. Every part of the painting gets scraped out and repainted at least once or twice. When I change one color, all of the other colors around it have to change. I circle around and around the canvas, very carefully scraping out the wrong color and laying in the right color. It's a meticulous process. It's enough to drive a person insane, but uh, I sometimes forget what I'm doing. I just, uh, I have a certain process, I keep on going, and I step back at a certain point and realize, wow, this is starting to look like something. For the longest time, the, the painting looks like nothing but paint. It's a study that is nothing but a study. That is, you know, I suddenly catch myself and realize, wow, this looks like a painting. I scratch my name into the wet paint and I move on. People say, when do you know a painting is finished? You know, to some extent, when you give up. I mean, that's why I work by natural light. The end of the day is when uh, the session is over. It's set down the brush. If you can wrap it up by the end of the day, wrap it up by the end of the day. It's, uh, you can always learn more another day. If you really need to work on a painting another day, chances are it doesn't need one spot. Chances are you're going to spend the entire day reworking entire areas. Uh, I'm endlessly painting right up until the last minute. The last thing I do before I leave the house usually is finish a painting. I used to call it terminally ambitious, now I realize it's 
just who I am. It's just what I do. I don't know any other process. I don't know any other way to work. But uh, it feels like progress. I have to remind myself that all the time I'm putting in, it does feel like progress. That's, uh, that's all I'm really shooting for. Learn something. Get somewhere. Do good things. Shortcomings of the human hand are what uh, is interesting. I think that's part of the uh, attraction to my paintings is that you can see how it was done. You can see the struggle. You can see what went into it. Birds. So why apples? Good question. I don't really know why. Somehow I wound up trying it once then I I just couldn't stop. I kept painting apples. There's so many colors, so many ways to paint them. I I'm endlessly excited to see what else I can do with three apples. It's, it's almost a tongue in cheek joke. What are you painting today? Well, if you look at it you can see there's three apples. It's just always fun. I, I enjoy uh, simple things. I think you can make something so sophisticated by allowing it to be simple. You can really explore nuances in color without making a still life setup too complex. By no means am I a realistic painter. Once in a while I feel like I'm coming close and then I realize it's just not me. I'm not a realist. I shouldn't try to be.